Hello friends, welcome back. Let us start exercise 2.5. Let us see the first problem. The figure is something like this. There are two circles, one with center Q, one with center P. Now AB is the diameter of this circle with center Q and AC is the diameter of this circle with center P. Now this diameter produced will intersect this circle in M and this diameter produced will intersect the other circle in N. And these both the circles are intersecting each other in A and D. What they have asked? Prove that AC into AM, what we have to prove? We have to prove that AC into AM is equal to AB into AN. AB into AN. This is what we have to prove. Actually, the diagram is very complicated, very big. Uh, it will take time to draw, but the solution is very, very simple. Now, we have to construct something. What will you construct? See, many students don't understand if we have to construct something, what should we construct? Okay, shall we draw parallel lines? Shall we join some segments? What? So, one small hint I can give you. As soon as you see one diameter and there is certain one point there on the circle, you know that the angle inscribed in semicircle is 90 degrees. So, join that line, blindly join the lines. So, I can join this and similarly this is the diameter and this is any point on the circumference of the circle. So, I will join this line. Correct? Now, if you consider these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, what we will see? These are opposite angles. Angle inscribed in semicircle is 90 degrees. Here also inscribed in semicircle 90 degrees. So, by the AA test of similarity, these two triangles are similar. Correct? Now, how will you, there is a very important thing that what names to the triangle you will write. Means which triangle is similar to which triangle. You cannot take any points to any points. Because whenever you are going to take the ratios, those ratios will be proper corresponding ratios. So here I will start from the common point A and I will go to the right angle point. So I will write that triangle A M B is similar to triangle A N C. Correct? By A A test of similarity. And hence A M A M upon A N and A B first and third A B upon A C first and third A C. Correct? Now just cross multiply AM into AC. Here is AC into M and AN into AB. AN into AB. So by cross multiplying AM into AC is equal to AB into AN. Proved. Very simple. Now you will understand that though this 2.5 was supposed to be with the problems of intersecting seconds, but it is not. Correct? So, don't expect anything in the paper that will be particularly on particular topic or so on. Okay? Now, let us go for the second problem of 2.5. The second problem of 2.5 ABCD is a rectangle. Let us draw one rectangle. This is rectangle ABCD. Let us see what they say. Taking AD as a diameter, the semicircle AXD is drawn. AD as a diameter. This AD as a diameter, we are drawn one semicircle name x. So, axd is a semicircle with ad as a diameter which intersects the diagonal bd at x. Now, diagonal bd is drawn. 
this diagonal BD is drawn and this is the point X okay if AB is 12 centimeter and AD is 9 centimeter AB is 12 centimeter and AD is 9 centimeter find the values of BD and BX find the values of BD and BX these two values now finding the value of BD is very simple just apply the Pythagoras theorem and you will get the value of BD correct now please pause your video and quickly find out the value of BD here BD is 15 centimeter I'll write it here somewhere BD is 15 okay now this is diameter I got one point there on the semicircle so immediately I will just connect this point now it is very simple if you see if I complete this circle here don't don't complete the circle in your book I'm just showing you it here if I complete the circle here since this is a rectangle this is 90 degrees that means this AB is a tangent to the circle correct AB is the tangent to the circle and BD is the second so now we are using the intersecting second where one is the tangent and one is intersecting the circle so what is our formula BX into BD is equal to BA square so AB square into BX into BD AB square we know 144 square 12 square 144 BX to be find out BD we know 15 into 15 so pause your video and complete this find out the value of BX and you will get an answer BX is equal to 144 by 15 find it out quickly the answer is BX is equal to 9.6 centimeters example 3 is very simple in the figure a tangent segment PA touching the circle in A very simple there is a circle there is a tangent segment this is the touching the circle in A and one is intersecting this distance is given 10 this is given 15 and you have to find out BC you have to find out this distance intersecting tangent properties we have to use 10 square is equal to 15 into this and you have to find out this once you find out this subtract 15 and you will get an answer let us go to fourth problem in the fourth problem a figure is given there is one circle A, C, D, B, M. Center is somewhere here. They are not passing through centers. Point M in the interior of the circle is the point of intersection of two chords A, B and C, D. Of the same circle. Show that C, M into B, D. Show that C, M into B, D is equal to B, M into A, C. Now how will you solve this? Very simple. First of all, if you want to show such a things, then you have to show two triangles, similar triangles. And so the by taking their corresponding ratio, you can easily find out this or you can prove this. But how these two triangles can be similar? Simple. First of all, this is these two angles are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. And then can I say that AD is an arc which is common for angle C and angle B? Correct? So angle C is equal to angle B. So by the AA test of similarity, these two triangles are congruent. Now the 
which is writing the names of the congruent triangle. How will you write the name of congruent triangle? Just quickly write the which two triangles are similar. Write the names of two triangles, please. AMC and DMB. AMC is similar to DMB. That is triangle AMC is similar to triangle DMB. Just check it out. I have taken this point of intersection as the center. If I am writing here A, then I will here write D corresponding and then C and B. And now it is very easy. Now just quickly write the ratio. Which ratio will give you this? CM. This CM and upon BM. CM upon BM is equal to BD B and D upon AC. You can write that ratio and after that just transfer to other side and you will get this equation. So please quickly write the ratio. I am waiting for it. Pause your video here. CM upon BM and AC upon DB. So now just transfer. You have CM and BD. Just take this BD up. So CM into BD is equal to AC into BM. Proved. So let us now move to next example. That is example number 5. As shown in the figure, two circles intersect each other in two points A and B. Segment AB is a chord of both the circles. AB is the chord of both the circles. Then they say that point C on the line AB is an exterior of both the circles. This point C is exterior to both the circles. From the point C tangents are drawn to the circle touching at M and N. Prove that CM is equal to CN. CM is equal to CN. That is what we have to prove. CM is equal to CN. Now here just remember you may be knowing that uh, to the one circle from the point exterior to it two tangents can be drawn. Okay. So I have seen in the paper some students write that since there are two tangent tangent segments are equal so CM is equal to CN. But mind well these are tangents to two different circles not the same circle. I just told you this because I have seen such answer in answer sheet. Okay. So these two are the two tangent to two different circles not the same circle. And we have to prove CM is equal to CN. So how will you do that? Very simple. At a time just consider one circle. So CM is a tangent and CA is a line which intersect this circle in A and B. AB is a chord. They are given that AB is a chord to both the circle. So by intersecting second property, what we know? That CM square is equal to CB into CA. And similarly, now consider this circle. CN square is equal to CB into CA. And hence CM square is equal to CN square and taking square roots CM is equal to CN. Very simple example. Let us go ahead and solve the example number 6. Please draw the figure. The two concentric circles of radii 5 and 3. These two are concentric circles. Center is common O. The radii are 5 and 3. That this radius is 5 and this radius is 3. They have asked that Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller one. Now this is the chord which is touching the smaller one. This is also chord but it is not touching the smaller circle. So we have to find AB. And then they say that BD is 5. This total BD, distance BD is 5. And we have to find the BC. Example is very simple. Okay, if you look at it properly, it is very simple. If you just consider the smaller circle, okay, 
now here i can say that this is radius this is also 3 okay now this ap ab is touching at p and you know that the tangent is perpendicular uh, with the radius so this is 90 degrees i know if you see the smaller circle can you see that we can apply the intersecting second properties corollary that is one is tangent and one is intersecting so we can easily say that pb square is equal to bc into bd bd they are already given phi if we can find the pb then bc can easily find out very simple problem is this one thing i can do i can just connect this ob because i know that the ob is a radius of the larger circle which is phi and this is right angle so in the right angle triangle opb i can easily find out pb what is pb ob square is equal to op square plus pb square this is the pythagoras theorem correct ob square we know that is phi square is equal to op square we know that is 3 square plus pb square so quickly find out the pb please pause your video here pb is 4 okay whatever be the unit if it's a centimeter it's a centimeter if nothing is given you can just write unit or can write nothing now now consider the bigger circle ab is the chord and the line from the center is perpendicular to that chord and as per the theorem we know that the line perpendicular to the chord from the center bisects the chord that means this pb is, is equal to ap correct and if pb is 4 then ab will be 8 this ab we have to find out which is 8 this is the first answer we have got now we know pb and we know bd phi so we can easily find out bc by the property of intersecting second we can write down pb square is equal to bd into bc pb we know bd we know phi only bc is to be find out very simple so pause your video and find out bc do it now please so the bc here is 3.2 now let us see whether they are given centimeter or not no they are just given radii 5 and 3 unit is not given so better don't write unit or you can just write unit not centimeters okay read the problem uh, very carefully and then solve it so this was a very short exercise and here we finish the exercise 2.5 and now we can move to problem set 2. Thank you very much.